Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to take a look at Sapphire's Toxic Edition HD 5850 graphics card. And here is the Sapphire Toxic Edition Radian HD 5850 graphics card. This comes armed with one gigabyte of blazing fast G DDR5 memory and also comes with a VaporX cooling system on this graphics card. So let's take this card out of the box, have a look at this card as well as what accessories come with the Toxic Edition HD 5850 GPU. Okay, here is the graphic card itself. We're going to come back to the graphics card in a moment. Let's have a look at the accessory bundle that comes with this card. Okay, here is the accessories that come with the HD 5850 Toxic Edition graphics card. You have a Sapphire Select Club Certificate, installation CD and case decal, SIM HD installation CD, DVI to VGA adapter, Crossfire bridge, two power dongles, six pin and Molex, as well as a user's install guide. So let's take the Toxic Edition graphics card, the HD 5850, out of the protective wrapper and let's check this card out. And here it is, the HD 5850 Toxic Edition graphics card from Sapphire. So let's have a closer look at this graphics card. First thing you'll notice with this graphics card is the 85mm cooling fan located in the middle of the card. Now this card isn't a direct rear exhaust vent card. This does vent some of the hot air into your case itself. And as always, uh, as I've said in a couple of other previous videos, I find this cooling solution very effective. This is the Vapor X brand cooling solution, and it does typically assist in keeping your GPU at least a few degrees cooler than the conventional cooling systems on GPUs. So let's have a look at some of the other uh, functions of this card, or some of the other detailing of this graphics card. On the side of the card itself, you have your two Crossfire X bridges. You can run this card up to four-way Crossfire X. On the back of the card here, we have a huge vent for venting the heat out of the card. We have a display port adapter, HDMI adapter, and two DVI connection ports. On the front of the graphics card, we have our two six-pin power hookups and our fan connector. So let's check out some of the detailing on this card and don't forget to check back we will be running this card on the test bench and running it through a bunch of benchmarks so don't forget to check back for those results. Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube if you wish to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in extreme PC and gaming hardware or feel free to follow us on Facebook using the following web link.